Hey everyone, welcome to Suspicious Pickle Gaming. Today we're going to take a look at an oldie but goodie. So listen, I um, played Construction Simulator 2, and I probably, the first time I played it, had like 120 hours into it. Totally loved the game. Um, you know, you, you've got the driving game portion, you've got the stop portion, you've got all the cool construction, uh, construction machines in it. You know, if you're a big kid, you're like, oh, I want to play with toys. Um, so let's take a look at it. One of the things here is you got your map function, you got the initial function, you got the long press here, so you can switch your vehicle modes. And you know what we're going to do? We are going to disable the effects volume while we're here. So you got English language, you can log into Facebook, you got buttons, you got the sliders. Uh, steering slider, you got the tilt control, which is really kind of cool, but kind of hard for me to do. Steering sensitivity, varying controls for hydraulics, reverse gear changes, so on and so forth. Uh, the financial cycle dur dur uh, duration, which is 90 minutes, makes it so you make more profit. Traffic density default, I turned off the traffic violations because, well, I got a heavy foot. All right. So then, of course, on this particular game, which I really did enjoy, you've got the skills menu here, and you can see I've upped some of them. I maxed out the EXP money to, you know, uh, come up as fast as possible. And then I just picked some other random stuff here. And then you've got your uh, player progress with varying things that you can, you know, accomplishments and achievements. Um, you know, and if you're, you know, a completionist type person, you have 76 achievements to keep you going. When I did, when I did play the game all the way through 120 um, hours, I got like almost all of them. Um, one of the things I liked about this one that the Construction Simulator 3 did not have was this, where you could upgrade your base. And I, and I thought that was kind of a cool feature. Um, and this shows here, here how much you're saving, how fast your stuff repairs. Um, you got your warehouse, I have nothing in there at the moment. And then you got your finances to show, you know, what I'm spending my money on. Um, and then of course you can go back three months, blah, 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 all that fun stuff, right? Um, and then you have your varying warehouse, you got your motor pool, you can see the equipment I currently own. I mean, obviously this still being a relatively new game, you know, I've got all kinds of fun stuff. What I did like here, and I'm gonna just retrieve that from the video call here, and then I wanna get on it. Um, so, let me see here. All right, I don't wanna do that, I wanna get on this machine here. So, one of the kind of cool things here about this you know, for the time, the graphics are pretty cool. So then you got your function camera here, you know, and then you can obviously see here, you know, you've got your your other cameras, you've got your orbital camera. Um, one of the things I didn't like about this camera was that a lot of times if you leave it in the regular display, it will, it almost got me seasick, to be honest with you, because it would jump back and forth, you went backwards, forwards, um, and so on and so forth. So, um, one of the one of the nice things about the control systems here was that here, see here, you've got you've got your lift, you got your boom, and so what was kind of nice is that you can actually see your boom move, and eh, I don't know, I kind of enjoyed it. So then here, obviously you can do your fast move here. So like if you want, you can go to your, you can just once you found a place, you can zip right along. Um, you know, and, and this game isn't about speed. It's about playing with heavy equipment in the dirt. And then obviously here, um, you know, you can go back to home base. You can go directly to the construction site. And as you upgrade different costs, different things, um, you can drive trucks around, so on and so forth. Then you have your job menu here. Um, okay. My current level. Um, one of the things that's nice about this game here is that I'm just going to abort this job. Okay. One of the cool things about this particular construction simulator that I did like, um, let me go back to the jobs menu, is that every so often you'll get a new job and like every half hour, I think, or 29 minutes, you get a random new job. One of the good things about this game is it won't let you lose money on a job. So it will disregard and make it so you can't see any jobs that you won't make a profit on. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then obviously you get your occasional special jobs. Um, so beyond that, you know, guys, I really, really enjoyed this game. I had a lot of fun with it. As I said, I had a lot of hours into it. Um, what I like about this game also is that you can play it offline and have a lot of fun as well. So um, I want to give a huge shout out to my friends at the thebcubedgaming.com. Um, they're a great bunch of people, and I'd love for you to hit the like and subscribe button. 
So have a great day, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the review and the play style of an oldie but goodie construction simulator, too. See you all later.